In this video, I'll quickly and simply show you how to use the Revolve tool. So to begin using the Revolve tool, you need to both have a closed loop sketch like we have here and a axis to revolve around, which is what this vertical construction line is. Once you have both of these, you can quickly select the Revolve tool from the top here or by pressing R. If only one sketch is available, then it should automatically pick up on this. Then you need to select the central axis and just like that, we have a 360 degree revolve. We can also change this by editing this input field here. So if I set it to 270, you'll see that's three quarters. And we can also change the direction of the revolve by changing the behavior from our buttons here and you can change it to whatever sees fit. So not only do we have a way of creating material, we can also use the revolve feature to remove material in some pretty organic and unique ways. So let's say I wanted to remove a circular groove in the center of this part all the way around. I need to begin with a sketch on a origin plane. That way the plane actually intersects with the body. So I'm going to project this geometry here. I'll just project the edge line and a little useful tip for you if you press f7 you will cut the piece to the sketch plane and that makes things a little bit easier to see so i'm just going to add a circle to the end i'll make this i don't know we'll make it a little bit bigger three mil diameter and then because i actually have a body to work with rather than using a sketch line as our construction plane like i did previously with this center here i can actually use a axis literally using this axis button here and I'm just going to select on the circular face and it will take it to the center. So now I can use the revolve tool to select my sketch and then I can select my axis. I realized that the axis needs to be put in before the sketch in order to work. But there you go, you can see that I've created a ridge around the middle, but I can change the output to cut and that way when I finish up the sketch, I create a nice groove in the middle. And of course, we can then carry this out with whatever profile that we like and whatever it is that you can sketch, making it highly versatile in the right hands. I hope this helped. My inventor course is currently free for the best part of the month, so check out the description to enroll for free while the discount still applies. And just to show you what's possible with the Revolve tool, this is a planter that I designed and I was gonna start 3D printing and selling. I didn't end up doing that in the end, but this all started with a revolve at the start. And just to show you the sketch, here it is. I just revolved this area here around my center point. And then, you know, with a few extra features added in the end, I ended up with a little something like this. So yeah, check out the course in the description if you're looking to learn Inventor.